Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ryan the Lion Video Games with me Ryan the Lion and today we are counting down from 10 to 1 my top PS4 games of 2015. Now these are consisting only on the PlayStation 4, truly to the fact because I don't have an Xbox One and or a PC. So this is the top 10 games of 2015 and I hope you can enjoy them. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, number 3 on my top 10 PS4 games of the year is Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. Now, this had a lot of controversy coming around it, as it easily could have been my game of the year, but i tell you why it's not my game of the year. For the way that Konami has dealt with the whole Kojima situation. Now, they basically, if you don't know about the Kojima uh, and Konami whole controversy, if you don't know about it, then basically, in a nutshell, Kojima was in process of making this game with his team, Kojima Productions, and they were just about finished it, they had probably done, I think, probably about half of the game, or at least 75% of the game was finished, um, but then, Konami basically told them, you know, this was going to be your final game, and then once you're finished it, you're you know, that's you, you're you're out, you're done, you're you know, we don't require your assistance anymore basically. And, you know, we'll take some of the credit for it. And Konami was basically, you know, giving them the ultimatum, unless, you know, you finish the game and then you're gone and, you know, you need to take all your team with you as well. So Kojima basically said, you know what, you know, this is my baby and I'm you know, I'm i I'm just gonna leave. You know, screw you guys, I'm going home. And Quite rightly so, you know, this this guy has put his life and soul into the Metal Gear Solid franchise. Whether you like him or not, he has put everything he has into this franchise. And he's made it a great success, from MGS1 to this one. You know, all five Metal Gear Solid main games have been excellent. Even ones like Peace Walker and stuff like that. You know, they've been great, great games. And personally, one of my favourite franchises in video gaming. Now, I, I understand that a lot of people might disagree with that and they might, you know, not resonate with that and they might say, you know what, that's pretty bad. I don't agree with that whatsoever. And I can understand that. You know, a lot of people have got their, you know, their things with Hideo Kojima and the Metal Gear Solid series saying it's overhyped. And I can understand it to a certain degree. But when this came out back on the 1st of September 2015, I was mega psyched for it, I was mega hyped, I enjoyed Ground Zeroes, Ground Zeroes was just a little kind of prologue, a little demo if it were, um, a lot of people were a bit, a bit peeved because you had to pay for this demo, and it was basically a demo, it only gave you six missions, and you, you know, you could still sink a good four or five hours into it easily, but a lot of people were still grumbled at the fact that you had to pay £15 for it. Personally, I loved Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. I had great fun with it. The f and it is true, you can actually see the process of when Kojima, you know, basically rushes to get it finished. Because you can see how it starts off great. There's lots of story. The story's interesting. There's a few twists and turns. Lots of good missions. The gameplay is superb in this one. It's open world. It's sandbox style gaming. And it's very interesting, you know, it's amazing how you can play the same missions but get different results each time. You know, this the gameplay requires you to push you to your your you know your limits basically. They they push you to think out outside the box and think of the best strategy, the best tactical plan on how to beat the game and how to beat the mission, how to get by certain enemies and guards and capture outposts and guard posts. So this was extremely, extremely enjoyable and very, very fun to play. The visuals on it are absolutely gorgeous. The, this is one of the best looking games on the PlayStation 4, bar none. Really, I love the visuals in this game. It looked gorgeous. It played beautifully. It was so smooth. Not a lot of, you know, big load times or anything like that. And as I say, the gameplay was really good. It was very varied and the story was pretty good. I liked the story, but then, you, as I say, you could see the transition of when Kojima was beginning to come away from the project was because, obviously, the whole, you know, controversy between him and Konami 
you can actually see where he's coming from. You can see where he's coming away from the project because the game gets repetitive. As you get towards the end, I think it's after maybe mission 30 or maybe mission 35 or something like that, you know, there's 50 main missions all in all, you start doing the same thing over and over again. You start, it gets very repetitive towards the end and the ending is very sluggish. The ending is very boring. There's there's a little twist in there. I'm not going to reveal it because I want to, re you know, I would leave it to you guys, especially for people that's in the middle of still playing it or getting to the end of it. There's four different story endings. I've only seen one. I've only completed it once, so I've only seen one ending. But I've seen the ending with Quiet, and I've seen the ending with the main game. And the main game ending is pretty good. There is one big twist in there, which is quite interesting. But again, it was sluggish. It was. It felt like the the last mission. They didn't really know what to do, so they just gave you a mission, and I I I was disappointed in it. You can, as I say, you can actually see where Kojima has came away from this project, because it starts off great. It starts off really really great. The first you know twenty or thirty missions are awesome, really good gameplay. But then all of a sudden it just becomes repetitive and it becomes quite boring at times so you're just kind of wanting to slug out a mission really really quick and just get it done and dusted because it's a little bit boring and that's a disappointment for me as I say this could have easily been my game of the year because I love this game but again just the repetitiveness of it the way Konami dealt with it and not only that Konami were bad enough Really, honestly, this this really, really pissed me off. I'm going to come out there and say it, but Konami pissed me off to the certain degree because they banned, Konami lawyers banned Hideo Kojima from the Game of the Year awards back in 2015. And personally, that is atrocious. A man that has, as I say, put his heart and his soul into the Metal Gear Solid franchise and done everything, made great games, great stories, and you you know borderline movies in a sense and you know he he got banned from konami to going to the game of the year awards which was absolutely atrocious in my eyes i really do hope i don't wish anything bad on anybody that works at konami i really don't i don't like to see people losing their job or anything like that you know because i understand that they're under a certain financial scrutiny at the moment but personally, I really do hope that Konami go under because it is absolutely astonishing and terrible the way they treated Hideo Kojima towards the end up of this game. And, you know, personally, that's why it's not my game of the year because I don't think for that reason it deserves to be game of the year because the way Konami handled things. They treated Kojima so, so badly. He's gave them nothing but his life and soul to this game, to the franchise, and to Konami. He's done so much for them, and he just got it through back in his face, which I think was atrocious. So, Metal Gear Solid ends up at number 3 on my top 10 PS4 games of 2015, which is a shame. It could have been number 1, easily could have been number 1, but I just couldn't put it at number 1, because I personally just felt like I, th I think Konami were just as astonishingly bad at what they did, and uh, the game was not finished. This game could have been epic. This game could have been amazingly, amazingly good if, you know, all the, the whole controversy between Kojima and Konami never happened and Kojima got to finish the game and actually got to finish the missions and stuff and then it would have, you probably would have been a masterpiece in my eyes, but it didn't and it wasn't a masterpiece because of Konami, not Kojima. So, Congratulations Kojima, Hideo Kojima, he will never see this video by the way, so I don't know why, I don't know why I'm saying uh, congratulations, but if he ever did or anyone knew him that did, you know, congratulations to that man because this is an excellent game and he didn't deserve the treatment that he got from Konami because they're a bunch of corporate assholes. So personally, I think that Konami should go under, certainly for the lawyers and all the, the big fat cats that want to make their money from this game and the franchise, then, you know, those guys should go under. And hopefully we'll see something from Hideo Kojima in the near future as he's signed a partnership with Sony, so that's only going to be excitement. For me personally, I'm a big fan of Kojima, I think his games are great. So. I really do hope that he does more with Sony and releases something else 
I'm really looking forward to that. So, thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching this video. If you disagree with me, then that's absolutely fine. Don't be shy in giving any criticism about this video or about myself. I, you know, I am open to all criticism and I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video and you've agreed with some of my comments, then please give a like. It really does help, guys. And for all the gaming updates on Metal Gear Solid and all the gaming updates on Ryan the Line video games, then please subscribe. We're down to the final two, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you, the final two is between, of course, The Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt from CD Projekt Games came back we in May last year and it was a triumph of a game. It was between that and of course from software Bloodborne. Uh, a really interesting game. Game actually my first Dark Souls game, well Dark Souls esque kind of game and I enjoyed the hell out of it. Find out and look out for the next video. It's a showdown between The Witcher 3 and Bloodborne. Join me in the next video guys so you can see who is my game of the year of 2015. Please subscribe if you want to see that and keep updated about that. Thank you so much for watching these videos and keeping up to date with this video series and up to date with my channel. I'm so grateful to each and every single one of my subscribers and I hope to see you there. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.